many folks woke up this morning pre-jazzed about seeing whales? How many folks woke up this morning pre-jazzed about possibly seeing something else? Maybe some pinnipeds, which is a cocktail party term for seals and sea lions. <laughs> We're all fascinated by whales and their marine mammal relatives. Some whales are huge, some small. All are intelligent, inquisitive, warm-blooded, air-breathing mammals. In the past decade, millions of people have discovered the joys of whale watching. If you're near a coast and can go whale watching, or even if you can't, come with us now on a whale watching trip around North America's coastal waters, even to Hawaii, as we watch some of these giants and their smaller relatives at home in their world of water. Of course, we won't see all of them. Some are rare and have never been photographed alive. Others just don't show themselves very often. As our vessel passes under San Francisco's landmark Golden Gate Bridge, we'll set our course for California's coastal waters where we hope to catch a glimpse of some of these fascinating animals. At 45 to 50 feet long, gray whales are medium-sized whales. Every fall, they swim south from the seas off Alaska and the Aleutians toward warm water on the west coast of Mexico's Baja Peninsula. On the way, they pass close to the coast where they can easily be seen from shore. Gray whales and most other larger whales have no teeth. These baleen whales feed by gulping vast mouthfuls of seawater and straining small fish and crustaceans from it. The strainers are strips of baleen or whalebone that extend down in fringe-like strips from the whale's upper jaw. These whales are called baleen whales. In their protected Mexican lagoons, the gray whales give birth, mate, and occasionally frolic. The grayish mottled skin is blotched by yellow and white patches of barnacles and small crab-like crustaceans called whale lice. Here, a large barnacle is visible above and to the right of the whale's eye. Gray whales jump or breach in the lagoons, heaving their up to 30 ton bulk more than halfway out of the water. We don't know why they breach. The gray whale's blow, or exhalation, is low and bushy. Like all the baleen whales, this gray whale calf breathes through two nostrils or blowholes. Calves are about 16 feet long and weigh about 1,100 pounds at birth. They are usually born between January and March and are weaned at around one year of age. Gray whales head back to the north in late winter and early spring. Migrating from the Arctic to Baja and back, the gray whale swims over 10,000 miles. This is the longest migration of any mammal. This gray whale calf encounters great beds of kelp during its journey. These giant golden brown seaweeds of the west coast may exceed 100 feet in length. 
Like many other species of whales, gray whales are often inquisitive. This calf is no exception. Many other creatures frequent California's great kelp beds, including the sea otter. The sea otter can reach over five feet in length and weigh up to 90 pounds. Sea otters lack the insulating layer of blubber that protects other marine mammals from the cold sea. Instead, they rely on their thick fur to keep them warm. Their coats need constant grooming. Sea otters are superbly adapted to their environment. They can stay down for more than 90 seconds as they search for the crustaceans, sea urchins, and shellfish that comprise much of their diet. Sea otters use tools. They smash shellfish with stones picked up from the sea bottom. They are the only mammals other than primates known to use tools. Sea otters mate and give birth at sea. Mother sea otters often park their pups among the kelp fronds, where they bob like corks until the mother returns from hunting. Farther offshore, we find the common dolphin. These small whales average seven to eight feet long and between 200 and 300 pounds. Gregarious animals, common dolphins are often seen in herds of several hundred to over a thousand. They inhabit all temperate and tropical seas. Common dolphins often ride the bow waves of ships and boats. Like all other dolphins, they have numerous teeth with which they capture fish and squid. Toothed whales, including dolphins, have one crescent-shaped blowhole. If you watch carefully, you can see it open as this dolphin blows. Now. Common dolphins can dive as deep as 900 feet and stay down for at least eight minutes. Sliding down the bow wave, common dolphins can surf for miles using relatively little energy. Fin whales, on the other hand, never ride bow waves. Second only to the blue whale in length, the slender fin whale reaches an average of about 65 feet, although individuals have been measured at 88 feet and 80 tons. The prominent dorsal fin gives these whales their name. Fin whales are among the swiftest of the great whales. 
Shaped like an inverted cone, the blow reaches 15 to 20 feet. The fin whale's head is white on the right side and dark on the left. This asymmetrical coloring is rare among mammals. Its purpose, if any, is not clear. Fin whales are found worldwide. They are baleen whales, consuming a variety of small fish and invertebrates. Feeding fin whales may attract flocks of seabirds and dolphins. In this case, white-beaked dolphins. Found from the coast of New England North, the white-beaked is among the swiftest of the dolphins. These chunky animals reach about 10 feet in length and 500 to 600 pounds. The dorsal fin is large. The beak may or may not be white. Much more common, the bottlenose dolphin is found worldwide in temperate and tropical waters where it feeds on many kinds of fish and invertebrates. Bottlenose dolphins reach 13 feet in length and weigh up to 1,500 pounds. Highly intelligent and adaptable, bottlenose are the dolphins most often seen in aquarium shows. In the wild, they commonly swim in herds of 25 or less. Their synchronous movements are strikingly beautiful.
Bottlenose dolphins are active and vigorous swimmers and seem to enjoy riding bow waves. Often accompanying bottlenose dolphins, these short-finned pilot whales and their long-finned cousins are found in most of the world's temperate and tropical seas. Males may exceed 20 feet in length and 7,000 pounds. Females are somewhat smaller. Traveling in herds of up to several hundred, pilot whales can be recognized by their very rounded foreheads, low curved dorsal fins, and black coloration. Pilot whales were named centuries ago by European fishermen who thought the whales led them to schools of herring. Although they will eat fish, pilot whales prefer squid, as do their very much larger relatives. The sperm whales, immortalized in Moby Dick, Herman Melville's great 19th century novel of whales, men, and the sea. Found in all oceans except near the poles, sperm whales are easily distinguished by their huge heads and wrinkled skin. They are the largest toothed whales. Males reach 60 feet in length and may weigh as much as 50 tons. They can dive as deep as one mile and remain underwater for more than an hour in their pursuit of large squid. Sperm whales have only one blowhole located on the left side of the head. The blow is low and oblique. The arrow on the left of this group of sperm whales points to a nursing calf. This is the first film ever taken of a sperm whale calf suckling. On the right, another sperm whale swims with its long, narrow lower jaw open. This is not unusual, although no one knows why the whales choose to swim this way. The large conical teeth, located only in the lower jaw, are just visible.
Several harmless remoras, or shark suckers, are hitching a ride on this calf. Although they occasionally strand themselves on beaches, sperm whales are normally found offshore in very deep water. California sea lions, on the other hand, come ashore to mate, give birth, and just to loll around. Sea lions belong to the suborder Pinnipedia, meaning finned footed. They are related to seals and walruses. Although clumsy on land, California sea lions are superbly graceful in their element. Fish are their principal prey. Unlike their relatives, the seals, sea lions frequently jump or porpoise as they swim. Seals also lack the sea lion's distinctly visible external ears. These Pacific white-sided dolphins can also be seen along the west coast. Atlantic white-sided dolphins, their counterparts, are found off New England and to the north. These rapid swimmers prey on herring and other small fish and squid. White-sided dolphins may be from 7 to 10 feet long and weigh between 300 and 550 pounds. The Atlantic species is larger than the Pacific. Spinner dolphins can be found offshore around the world in tropical and temperate waters, often in very large herds. All are lumped into one species, although variations among populations can be dramatic. These relatively small, delicate dolphins range in length from five and a half to seven feet, and in weight from 135 to 200 pounds, depending on where they come from. Spinner dolphins of the eastern tropical Pacific Ocean and their relatives, the spotted dolphins, are often found with schools of yellowfin tuna. Millions of dolphins have been drowned in the past 20 years as tuna fishermen set their nets around the air-breathing mammals in order to catch the accompanying tuna.
Spinners are active swimmers who love to ride bow waves. They feed mostly on small fish and squid. Some spinner dolphin populations have dorsal fins with an upright appearance. One observer has commented that the fin appears to have been put on backward. One animal in this group shows some injuries on its left side near the dorsal fin. These may have been caused by the bites of a very small shark called the cookie cutter shark or by a sea lamprey. Risso's dolphins frequent most of the area inhabited by spinner and spotted dolphins. They feed mostly on squid. These animals reach 14 feet and 1,500 pounds. Risso's dolphins' bodies are often covered with scratches that match their tooth patterns. The scratches may be the result of aggressive mating activities. Spotted dolphins are slightly larger than the spinners with which they are often seen. Feeding mainly on squid and small fish, they reach slightly over 7 feet and 280 pounds. Spotted dolphins are capable of astonishing leaps. Humpback whales are probably the best known of the baleen whales. They are present in all oceans. They migrate seasonally between warmer and cooler waters. Humpback's long fins are its most distinctive feature. The light-colored knobby wedged flippers can be as long as one-third the length of the whale. These large whales reach 62 feet in length and may weigh as much as 53 tons. Despite their great bulk, they can be extremely active, hurling their entire bodies out of the water.
The songs of the humpback whale are unique in the animal kingdom. Some of the low-pitched moans may travel for thousands of miles underwater. These whales may communicate across entire ocean basins. Each population of whales has its own distinctive song, which it changes yearly. The songs may last as long as 20 minutes without repetition. Humpback calves are about 25 feet long and seven months old when they are weaned. With their ungainly bodies and knobby heads, humpback whales can't be called beautiful. Yet, we find them immensely appealing. About 750 miles northwest of the humpback's Hawaiian wintering grounds lies Laysan Island. Laysan is one of the homes of the endangered Hawaiian monk seal. Like sea lions, seals come ashore to mate and give birth. When on land, seals drag their hind flippers behind them as they hump along like giant inchworms. Sea lions, on the other hand, fold their hind flippers forward under their bodies. In the water, monk seals are completely at home. In these tropical Pacific waters, monk seals have little to fear except humans and their encroaching civilization. Currently numbering about 1,000, monk seals are the most endangered seals in the world. They prey on small fish and eels. Hawaiian monk seals share their range with rough-toothed dolphins, false killer whales, and melon-headed whales. Rough-toothed dolphins are distinguished by the smooth slope of the face from forehead to beak. They seem to grin even more than other dolphins. 
Their bodies are frequently streaked or scarred. These medium-sized dolphins are from seven and a half to nine feet long and may weigh as much as 350 pounds. They feed on fish, pelagic octopus, and squid. Herds of two or three to several hundred rough-toothed dolphins roam the tropical and temperate seas of the world. Long-bodied and slender, false killer whales can reach a length of 20 feet and weigh nearly 5,000 pounds. They can be extremely energetic swimmers and can outjump most smaller dolphins. They often ride bow waves of ships. Found in most tropical and temperate seas, false killer whales sometimes strand themselves on beaches in large numbers. We don't know why. Also very swift swimmers, melon-headed whales can be found in most tropical and temperate seas. They may reach eight feet in length and weigh up to 400 pounds. Although they feed mostly on squid and small fish, they have been reported to attack smaller dolphins such as spinners. The arrow points to a nursing melon-headed whale calf. Killer whales are the giants of the dolphin family. Males may be as long as 31 and a half feet and weigh up to nine tons. Females are somewhat smaller. These whales may be distinguished from all others by their bold black and white markings, large rounded flippers, and in the case of males, their triangular dorsal fins, which can be six feet tall. Also known as orcas, killer whales inhabit all seas of the world from the Arctic to the Antarctic. They are most common inshore, but may be seen anywhere. They prey on almost anything and everything in the sea, from small fish to blue whales. They have never been known to attack humans. Killer whales come repeatedly to favorite coastal spots where the bottom is littered with smooth stones. There they dive to roll and rub on the bottom. We don't know why. Killer whales often spy hop or thrust their heads out of the water probably to see better. They travel in stable groups of up to 30. Killer whales in aquarium shows have proved to be extremely intelligent and adaptable. Despite their ferocious reputation, in captivity they are gentle and responsive.
tail slapping may indicate mild irritation. Perhaps the camera boat is following too closely. Like many other great whales, right whales were nearly exterminated by whalers. Today they can be seen very occasionally on the west coast, more commonly in New England waters. The right whale is unmistakable when seen up close. Look for the huge, curving lower jaw and strange, whitish, roughened patches of skin called callosities. Researchers use these callosities to recognize individual animals. Right whales are bulky animals. They may reach 60 feet in length and can weigh over 100 tons. They feed on small crustaceans that they strain from the water with long fringes of baleen. Right whale calves are weaned at about one year when they are nearly 30 feet long. Note the great angular flipper in the background. Right whales have a white patch on the belly. Right whales are very slow, ponderous swimmers, but they do frolic and roll seemingly in play. Sharing many northern coastal waters of North America with the right whales are harbor seals. They congregate on beaches, rock ledges, and sandbars when not feeding. Averaging about five feet long and 200 pounds for males, somewhat less for females, harbor seals feed on many kinds of fish. Where they have not been molested, harbor seals may be inquisitive and approach humans.
In some of the harbor seal's more remote habitats, the mouth of Canada's St. Lawrence River, or off Mexico's Baja Peninsula, for instance, you may have the incomparable experience of seeing a blue whale. Everything about the blue whale is superb. It is the largest animal that has ever inhabited the earth. Before whalers nearly exterminated these magnificent creatures, some blue whale females grew to over 100 feet long and weighed perhaps 160 tons. Males were slightly smaller. Today's whales reach between 80 and 90 feet in length and weigh around 110 tons. Blue whales are distinguished by their great size, very broad, flat heads, and relatively tiny dorsal fins. The slender blow may be 30 feet tall. Blue whales feed almost exclusively on small shrimp-like crustaceans called krill. When feeding, a blue whale must consume up to two tons a day of these small creatures. No one knows how long any of the large whales live. Some have suggested that blue whales may live at least 60 years. Blue whales frequently dive for 10 to 20 minutes, although they may stay down longer if harassed. Wounds on the back of one of these animals, just behind the dorsal fin, may have been inflicted by killer whales. Killer whales have been seen to attack blue whales on a number of occasions. Blue whales and most other species of whales do seem to be making a comeback from the relentless whaling slaughter of the past several centuries. If we can let them live, perhaps we'll continue to share our planet with these mysterious mammals for many generations to come. <laughs>